Okay, I'm going to help you to solve these fission equations. So I've rewritten them out in my book here and I've highlighted the things that we need to find. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a periodic table. So there should be a link on the slide um, to find the dynamic periodic table. So you need to make sure that you've got that open. And the other thing we need to remind ourselves of is the, the conservation laws. So the conservation law, the physics uh, principle that we need here is that the number of protons and the number of neutrons are conserved. So we don't lose any protons or neutrons and we don't gain any protons or neutrons okay you can't just matter doesn't just disappear or um, matter is not just created from nothing so the number of protons and the number of neutrons must be conserved that's quite important so on this side we have a total mass number of 236 so there are 236 protons plus neutrons and here we've got 92 protons. So on this side, we have to have 92 as well. So if we've got none and no protons, obviously we've got two neutrons there, but there's no proton. We've got 40 protons here, so we must have 52 here. Okay, and the 52nd element of the periodic table is tellurium. Okay. And then the second thing we need to find is the element in the periodic table with um, um, an atomic number of 40. And that is zirconium, ZR. Okay, so ZR, zirconium. And we need to get a total of 236. And at the moment, we've got two neutrons here and 137 um, protons and neutrons here, but we need to get to a total of 236. So we've got 139. So I'm just going to do that here. 236 minus 139. Um, one. 16 minus 9 is 7. 12 minus 3 is 9, so we've got 97 there. Okay, so 97 plus the 2 here is 99. 99 plus the 137 is 236, so we've conserved it. So we've got tellurium and zirconium there. Um, if you need to find any of these in a test, then you will be given a periodic table. If you are not given a periodic table, then you will be given everything you need in the question. Okay, again, we have the same in B. We've got 236 protons plus neutrons and 92 protons. So um, we've got 38 protons here. So we need to do 98, 92, sorry, minus 38 is 54. So element number 54 is xenon, and element number 38 is strontium with the symbol SR. And you'll be able to find that in your periodic table as well. And again, we need to um, conserve the number of, or the mass number. So we've got two neutrons and 144 here, which makes 146. And we need to get to 236, so that's 90. So strontium, we must have 90 there. Okay, so that's the answer to B. And C, we've got um, and the 94th element reacting here, which is actually plutonium with the symbol PU. Okay, and the way we work out its mass number is by adding 3 to 94, giving us 97 and then adding that to 143. So 97, 100, so 240. Okay, and then this is neodymium, and neodymium on the periodic table is 60th, so it's got 60 protons. 
and hopefully 60 and 34 make 94, which they do. So that's how you do these fission equations. The number of neutrons and the number of protons overall must be conserved. Okay, and then you'll just need your periodic table to look up the elements that we need to find, knowing that the number of protons, this number here, determines the element. Thanks, girls.